Hi, I'm Chad from Apple Tree Automotive. In today's video, we're going to show you how to wire an alternator conversion kit. This is a really common upgrade and gets rid of your generator and all the regulator and all the wiring that goes with that. So we're going to assume that the alternator has already been installed in the car. And you're probably wondering what to do with the regulator and all the wiring that goes to that. Um, the simple solution would be to leave it alone and leave it where it's at. It's not going to hurt anything. Just disconnect the wires that were running down to the generator and leave the rest of them in place. The more difficult but cleanest way is to get rid of the regulator and pull all the wires through so they're, they're just not there anymore. One of the nicest things about an alternator conversion kit is the ease of wiring. It's really just a two-wire connection. You've got a B plus and a DF. We're going to start with your B plus, which is this post. We're going to use a 10 gauge wire with the ring terminal. And we're going to put that on. Now this B plus wire, this is what's going to send power to the battery to keep the battery charged. Now there's two places you can put this. You can run this to the battery side of the starter, or you can run this all the way up to your battery. Either way will work. I choose the starter. This is close by. Now this is, again, this is your outgoing power. This is what's keeping the battery charged. The next wire is your D+. Sometimes on these, they're called a DF, depending on what instruction sheet you're looking at. And if you need instructions or a, an exploded view or wiring diagram, see our website. We've got all that stuff up there to help you out. But this D plus wire, we're going to use a 16 gauge wire. Now this wire right here, the, the point of this wire is to excite the field inside this alternator and uh, allow it to charge. So this is actually an incoming uh, charge, but it's, we only need it briefly and then it needs to go away. So what we're going to do is hook this indicator light up which will stop the power from coming back in. But this D plus will go to a key switch or a fuse box. Anything with a switched 12 volt source. So you just don't want to have power coming to here with the key off. So make sure that the key turns the power off to this. So we've got a fuse box. We can simply plug it into this as long as that fuse box gets power with the key. Now this is one of the key switches that we sell. And on this key switch on the back, you'll see markings that say battery, ignition, accessories, and starter. Now we're going to bring power into this key switch through the battery. So this will be your power from your either your battery or from the starter. This ignition one right here is really important. This is the one that you're going to want to run your coil. Because this, what will happen with these key switches is you'll turn the key to accessories and everything will power up. But the second you go to momentary start, it will take power away from the accessories to power the starter. So one thing you don't want to do is have the coil on the same circuit. Because it will take power away from the coil and your car will never start. So run this ignition one to your coil. Now here's our accessories. This is actually the post that you would run either to your fuse box to turn it on or off or you could plug this wire into your accessories on the back of this key. Now this will turn off as you hit momentary on but it will come back on as soon as the key comes back to accessories. And the last post is a starter. That's self-explanatory. That will go to the starter. This is your momentary on power. So just an overview of this D plus wire. This is the power going to the alternator from the key. So we're going to come out of the accessory side that's switched through this indicator light which initially will be on until the car starts and then it will turn off and that will tell you that the alternator is charging properly. If this light stays on then there is something wrong with the system. It will flow out of that indicator light back down to the D plus. It will build the field in here, internally ground and shut power off to this. So that's what makes this go out. And this alternator just needs a quick zap to get it to start charging and after that we want it to quit because we just don't want to keep feeding power into here. It just it, it doesn't uh, allow your battery to charge. So again this is just a quick temporary power in and this is your, your battery power out to your battery.